Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. In this week's Baseball Basics, we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite officiants, umpires. I only say that slightly sarcastically because there have been some fun things this season with umpires already. Oh, we're not gonna get too into the drama though. We're just gonna talk about what umpires are and what they should be doing in an ideal situation. Umpires are MLB officials who regulate games and enforce the MLB rules in those games, including ones that are related specifically to the grounds. And down below I'm gonna link my video on game forfeits, called games, and that sort of thing because that's where umpire calls will come into play a lot. And so just head down to the link below if you want to watch that one. Uh, they also make calls on plays and pitches, ruling things as strikes and balls, and rule whether or not balls go foul, and can also be responsible for ejections, which will be its own video later on. MLB assigns four umpires for regular season games. There's the home plate umpire, who will be that game's umpire in chief, and then there are three additional umpires situated at each of the bases. So there's your first base umpire, your second base umpire, and your third base umpire. In postseason or all-star our games you may get a six-man team of umpires where you'll see those two additional umpires as outfield umpires usually situated down towards the foul poles. The home plate umpire or umpire-in-chief is basically responsible for the entire game. He stands behind the catcher's box at home plate and he calls balls, strikes, fair, foul. He can refer to the first or third base umpires in the case of checked swings or foul balls but typically he's going to be responsible for most of those calls at home plate. Because of his position behind home plate he's at a pretty high risk for getting hit by balls, so he'll dress fairly similarly to the catcher with both a mask and padding to keep him protected. He'll also have two bags at his hips that are referred to as umpire ball bags, and those keep clean prepared baseballs at the ready in case he determines that a ball is too dirty or damaged to continue being used in play. Now a crew chief is not the same thing as that home plate umpire in chief. A crew chief will actually oversee all of the umpires and also works as a liaison between the MLB head office and that particular game. And this especially comes into play in incidents where there's a request for a replay or a contested play comes about as he'll work between the head office and that in-game crew in the event of a challenge. Teams only have a specific number of challenges that they're allowed per game, so they're pretty sparing in how they use them because if you get one wrong early in the game, you stand a risk of not being able to use it later on when you might actually need it. Previously, there were separate umpire groups for the National League and the American League, but in 2000, the World Umpires Association was created and every one of the umpiring groups fell under that. So you'll see now the same umpires being used in both National League and American League games. Umpires are easily identifiable on the field as they wear a short sleeve polo type shirt in a light blue and wear a cap with the MLB logo on it and gray slacks. They'll also typically either wear a black windbreaker or a black blazer over top of that. As a result of wearing the blue shirts in minor leagues, sometimes they are referred to as blue Blues, but this isn't used very often in the major league level. What does get referred to often in the major league level is an ump show, and this usually refers to an umpire making a particularly egregious call or doing something on the field to kind of take the attention onto them, whether it's throwing out a player or a manager for a seemingly ridiculous reason, or as was recently seen, telling a manager that the umpire can do anything he wants in an instance where he is being argued with. So so if you ever see an umpire doing something kind of ridiculous or showy or really disagreeable, you'll sometimes see this referred to as an ump show. The active umpire with the most games under his belt is Joe West, who has been in 5,193 games as of the end of 2018. The overall record for most games officiated by an umpire is held by Bill Kelm, and it was 5,372, which means if West actually holds out for another two seasons, he's likely to surpass that all-time number. West does currently hold the record for the most seasons of active umpiring at 41, so he's on to his 42nd right now in 2019. I just want to take a quick minute to address female umpires. Technically, female umpires are allowed at the major league level, but as of yet, there has not been one who has officiated a major league game. There are a few minor exceptions in that 
There have been female umpires who have called exhibition games in spring training for major league teams, but a female umpire has never worked at the major league level. So Pam Postema was the first female umpire to ever call an exhibition game for a major league franchise, and that was in 1989. And since then, Rhea Cortezio, and as recently as 2018 with Jen Powell, are two other female umpires who have worked in spring training games for major league franchises. But yeah, we've yet to see any work at that major league level, which is hopefully something we could see happen in the next couple of years because it is absolutely allowed by the rules. It's just kind of a boys club. So it would be very nice to see a female umpire make it to that level. So that's been a brief rundown of what umpires are, what they do, how they dress, and kind of what to expect from them out on the field. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below and ring that bell if you want notifications every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode comes out. And also remember to follow me on social media. I'm at 90 feet from home at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'm pretty active over on Twitter. So if you have suggestions for an episode you'd like to see, hit me up over there or just leave a comment down below. I love getting comments. I read them all and I hope that you'll leave something behind for me. So have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye!